Have you ever been sitting in a meeting and heard a great quote? Maybe you even asked the speaker for a copy of it or a reference to it so you could look it up later. Well, what do you do with all these awesome quotes? Oak Norton here for Scripture Notes. This past week I was listening to a presentation by Lynn Ridenour, a Southern Baptist preacher that uses the Book of Mormon right alongside the Bible in his preaching. He shared one of these awesome quotes and I wanted to capture it and see the full statement. I first took a part of the quote along with the name of the speaker he referenced as using it and did a web search. The first result was to Scott Woodward's site. Scott has a large collection of great quotes and it's fun to peruse his website for interesting things. So I clicked into Scott's site and found the quote from Elder Ezra Taft Benson at the time, as well as the source he was quoting, Elder Orson F. Whitney. The quote was about how God puts good people outside his church intentionally to build bridges and perform works that those inside the church can't do by virtue of being insiders. He states that these Gentile outsiders are partners, in a sense, to perform important things for the accomplishment of the Lord's great work. It's a wonderful statement that you should read. God has certainly used some of the noble and great spirits to perform amazing works outside the Lord's church, and we can see this in the scriptures and throughout history. If you're watching this video on YouTube, in the description I'll have a link to the place where you can read the quote or you can look it up on Scott's or another website. So what do you do in scripture notes when you want to preserve a quote like this and be able to find it later on? Initially, you might just copy paste it into a collection note in your scripture notes account. That's what I would do until I have time to do a little supplemental research. I save the quote with a title and tag it. There are no verses associated with it yet. Later, I can return to this quote, and I would do the following. I'd start off doing a search for Gentile with a wildcard asterisk at the end to retrieve variations like Gentiles. There are 266 results in the standard works, and I can now create a collection note and copy-paste the quote into it and delete the first note that I had created previously. So I paste it in here, I've got all my scriptures down below, and I could come over here and delete this note by clicking the delete button up at the top, since I don't need two of them in my collection note, or in my account. I might also then do a search in the Doctrine and Covenants for the word Constitution, and I would add in the verses in section 101 and section 109 about the great work of the Gentiles the Lord raised up to establish the Constitution of the United States. You could also take a collection of your favorite quotes from someone like Elder Neil A. Maxwell and store them all in a collection note. Scripture Notes is extremely flexible and lets you store things how you want them. Go find a quote. Try it out. I'll see you next time.